we'll come now to uh, what we said is your investment mantra and and that's something which very very many people would be keen to know about now you know you've been hailed as a master investor a master of timing because you know it's all about timing whether it was the abbott uh, the sale to the abbott whether it was your investment in vodafone and then your exit from vodafone at multiples uh, of of what you invested in what is the secret sauce how do you how do you deal with that what 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 keeps you ticking when it comes to making investments i wish there was a secret sauce and i would have been very happy to share with you so it's not a secret i have to still f figure out the sauce yet <laughs> but i'll just tell you so like uh, that let's take the example of pharmaceuticals actually we were a late entrant in pharmaceuticals i think very often what i have understood about investing is that one has to understand what the environment is and what you look at the future sometimes the headlines with all due respect to whether it's the media or the consultants or everybody talks the same language and i've seen the, the same group of consult uh, same consultants will go to 10 different companies in the same industry and give similar advice so everybody thinks similarly but what is it behind that one has to understand so when we entered pharmaceuticals i remember that was a time when almost everybody said that india is not a good place for pharmaceuticals whether it was for drug price whether it was for no patent protection etc etc but uh, we felt that uh, therefore the valuations were low but we felt that the future of in india for pharmaceuticals was good because it was not covered much so that's why we invested at the time we exited uh, the i'm talking of the domestic business yes. so i'm not talking of global we realized that everybody was talking the same language india great india best you know and the multiples were crazy and we didn't see that happening in the future so just as an aside we when we entered pharma we paid at a multiple of 0.3 times of sales to acquire and when we sold it was about nine and a half times of sales so you can see that it was not because of i mean it was simple that rather than going through consultants and all so similarly in vodafone i mean th that time was a time when there was not uh, you know it was post the financial crisis so there was there were limited amount of funds in the country and banks as you know cannot lend for acquisition of shares and therefore there was an opportunity and obviously we had also in our mind said that it was not that it's not it was never going to be a long term investment because it just required too much of capital too much of so we sold it at the right time so that's how it